In this video, we're going to discuss how we go about estimating linear measures or lengths. Um, in order to estimate lengths, we need to use reference. So I'm sure you've heard of this term before in modules one, in modules two, but just to uh, review, a referent is an object or a part of the human body that you can use or you can refer to when estimating the length of a distance. Okay, so some examples are the step, pace, and thumb. So um, a step, for example, is if you were to take one step, just a normal step, you're not stretching too far, and then you measure the distance from your original position to where you stepped into, that would be the distance of a step. A pace is slightly bigger. Uh, a thumb, if this is your thumb, right, um, it's the distance from one side to the other. Right? So, of course, you would use a thumb to estimate a very short length, like maybe how long your phone is or how wide your calculator is. Um, a step and a pace are usually used for bigger uh, distances, like if you wanted to measure the length of your driveway or the width of your room or um, uh, the, you know, how long a hallway is or something like that. Now, Estimates are not exact measurements, right? Because keep keep in mind that the length of maybe your step is different than the length of my step. I'm a fairly short person. I'm 5'2 with short legs. So one step for me is about 70 centimeters, right? But somebody taller with longer legs, it might be 100 centimeters. However, your estimates should be reasonable. They should be close to the accurate measurement. So it wouldn't make any sense if you estimated the distance of your room to be 90 centimeters, but in reality it was like five meters, right? This is really, really different. So they have to be more or less close to one another, okay? Now you'll notice that we use this symbol quite often whenever we estimate, and this just means approximately, okay? So now that we've discussed what estimation is and what we can use to estimate, let's have a look at an example. And what I'd like you to do is to actually pause the video right now, and if you're somewhere where you're able to actually estimate the length of a room, please go ahead and do it. If you can, that's fine. So in this example, I'm going to estimate the length of the room that I am in, and I'm actually going to do this right now. I'm in a fairly small room. So keep in mind, answers will vary because we're all in different rooms. So what type of referent am I going to use? Because it's a room, I'm not going to use my thumb because that's, that, that's not reasonable. It's possible, but it's not reasonable. And I'm going to say maybe I'm going to use a step, okay? Um, for me, uh, when I measured my the distance of my step, it was about 70 centimeters, okay? So why am I using a step? Because it is large enough um, to make a reasonable and accurate estimate, okay? It's not too big and it's not too small, basically. So the estimate now. So I am going to get up, or I already did. I got up and I walked um, across the length of my room and it ended up being five steps. Okay, so I'm going to write five steps, but I know that every step is 70 centimeters, so I'm going to multiply by 70. So five times 70 is 350 centimeters. So this is my estimate for the length of my room. Now, if you wanted to write that in meters, you can say 3.5 meters, right? Because we divide by 100. Both are fine. Notice how this question did not specify what units to use, right? Um, some questions will say uh, you have to use imperial units. Some questions will say use metric. If they don't say anything, you can pick whatever you like. Um, but I could have used inches. However, the take home message here is that you have to state what unit you used. It wouldn't make any sense if I said 350. Like 350 what? Millimeters? Centimeters? Inches? Yards? Miles? Huge difference, right? So in a nutshell, how do we estimate linear measures? Choose a referent that makes sense and then measure how long that referent is. So for me, one step was 70 centimeters. Count how many of those you have. So for me, I had five steps. Multiply it by how long your referent is and that's your answer. So I recommend trying this with different things. Try it with, again, the length of your phone, calculator, and so on.